WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN. A lot, of, a lot of things happening in the markets today. If I could only figure out how to use my charts here, I would get them up here. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm not able to see how to do that right now. I'll try to get this fixed by the break. Stocks were weak. Now they're, they were very strong, and they've weakened up just a little bit uh, since that. But a lot of volatility, especially in the foreign currency markets, folks. The foreign currency markets have gone up uh, substantially. In fact, substantially higher than I thought they were going to go up, but uh, we'll find out here in the next few days because we're over a major cycle here yesterday or today, and that'll tell us whether we're going to, uh, you know, be close to where we're supposed to be going. For some reason, I can't find the share screen on my uh, on the computer again. It doesn't surprise me because if it's a possibility of a uh, <laughs> if it's a possibility of a technical problem. Uh, there, I'm the one that uh, they like to pick. Uh, stay tuned, folks. When we come up, I'm going to go over uh, my trading here for the last two days because I've had two very bad days back to back, and I wanted, I did all, I thought I did everything correctly, but evidently I didn't. But I wanted to explain to you what I did and why I did it, so that you realize that when I give you these trades, that sometimes I don't do the right thing, and even then, sometimes. I uh, probably don't do the right thing. So let's uh, let's keep that in mind when we come up uh, to the break here. We're going to go over some of these things, but I believe we're over a major, major spot here uh, in the thing. But I'm I'm having a real diff. Oh, here we finally got to the share screen part. Bear with me here a second here. Get the screens up, and then hopefully we'll be able to go live. And then I'll get my charts up. We'll start out here with the British pound. We're up here at the 61% retracement. Uh, we sold here, folks. We took a 30-point um, loss, a $300 loss uh, in the British pound. Uh, the We also shorted the Canadian dollar. That one's doing okay. Even though it's down a couple hundred dollars, it's uh, one that's done okay. But we'll go over some of these others that we want to look at. We've had several requests here. If you wanted to sell the British pound, folks, this is the ideal place to do it because we got to – to the exact FIB number, 618 of the whole thing. You can see it right there, 127, 123. But we're going to wait and see what happens next here. Take a break here. We'll be right back, uh, pay a few bills, um, and we'll be right on. Stan Harley's our guest today, so stay tuned. And Joe DiNapoli tomorrow, so hang in there.